Yo, man, what's going on, y'all boys, man? Y'all already know what time it is. If y'all got introduced to this screen, then you really already know what time it is. I'm just letting you guys know, me and my girlfriend decided to finally, y'all literally been bugging me, like, start the channel, start it. Look, we finally started, man, and we doing something a little different that I really don't see anybody do. And I tell y'all, we finna get lit. I'm like, like, we plan to explore the world. I'm talking along with this wonders. We plan just to go to all types of luxurious locations around the globe. If outer space was an option, best believe we gonna be there. <laughs> Starting this channel really means a lot to us and also give y'all a chance to connect with us a lot more so if this sounds like something that y'all are interested in all you have to do is click one of them three links in the description it's also going to be pinned in the comments and it's also going to be right here on the screen right now and it's going to lead you straight to our page and all you have to do is hit that subscribe button and claim your passport buckle up fasten your seat belts and let's get ready for takeoff i see y'all on our next destination at the sweet life of kb Yo, what's going on, y'all boys? Y'all already know what time it is, man. We back again with another reaction. Ski. Yay! And today we have another sad case of these parents must, must be stopped. When I say must be stopped, they honestly must be stopped. And by the title and the thumbnail, it is it is facts. Like I can read the I'm, I'm finna read the title for y'all right now. This woman cut her daughter's hair off and put on the internet to teach her a lesson. Y'all know how things go with these parents by T by putting stuff on the internet. I don't get it, bro. And I will never get it. Why? I understand the frustration. I'm not even a parent yet. I know a lot of a few people in the comments, you will never understand because you're not a parent. You're not a bro. If social media wouldn't be here, how would you treat your you know what I'm saying? I've been, I grew up in a time where social media wasn't big and how I got handled within situations that was disciplinary was totally different from this. I feel like going up to school is, 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 is more worse than the social media to me. If you, I don't know if the, this is the, this is my bad, I hit the mic. This is the new going up to school. Remember back in the day, your mom be like, I'm finna come up to this, you, your teacher call you, I'm finna come up to that school, keep acting the fool, bloop. Well, I getting straight A's. You know what I'm saying? But now, they don't even, they be like, ask the fool when I finna post you on TikTok. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I know I ain't tripping, bro. Ask the fool when I finna put you on TikTok, and then they got the nerve to monetize it. You might as well put it on YouTube and, and put it on, bro, man. He's so scared. <laughs> All jokes aside, man, but let's go ahead and get into this reaction video. Make sure if y'all boys enjoyed the video that you smash the like button, comment, and also subscribe for your boy, man. Remember, the more likes this video get, the higher that it will rank. So let's go ahead and get this video to number one, man. Let's get it. Let's go. Ski Look at that little girl. Discipline. Use physical discipline. Come here, you're gonna learn today. Girl, look at that chat. This honestly look like like a 14, 14 year old. One of the hardest things I've had to do for educational purposes only. What? And this is the mother's TikTok. On, on TikTok, bro, I'm not making this up. And this is a beautiful little girl. She's gotta be like 14 years old. She can literally be a model. Like she's a beautiful little girl. And the fact that you like, I guess you finna cut her hair off. It look like her hair is long. Like, you know how many people would die for her that length? She finna get her hair cut off and literally probably never have her for these next couple years because it took her years to grow that type of hair. But let's go get into it. I ain't finna talk too much, but I'm just letting y'all know, like, this is a beautiful young lady. The fact that you had the nerve to cut her hair off. Like, I don't know. I, I couldn't do that to my daughters. Man, come on. Use physical discipline. Come here. You gotta learn today, girl. No physical discipline. Mom. Don't mom me. No. You had, wow. you had your chance. I told you to listen. I told you stop disobeying my rules. I told you being cute ain't shit. If you have no education, I told wow. you stop disobeying me. I told you to listen and do as you're supposed to. I told wow. you to do in school. I told you to do your daily routine and you yet to even do any of it. And you thought you were disobeying me today and I was not coming to cut this hair off. You're sadly mistaken because you thought being pretty wait. was so... Wait, 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 wait. Chat. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to listen to why she's doing what she's doing, but I'm literally distracted by like this young woman is like so confused right now. Let me see, because she's explaining why she's doing what she's doing. 
you had your warning, you had your chance, I told you to listen, I told you stop disobeying my rules, I told you being cute ain't shit, if you have no education, I told you stop disobeying me, I told you to listen and do as you're supposed to, I told you to do good in school, I told you to do your daily routine and you yet to even do any of it, and you thought you were disobeying me today and I was not coming to cut this hair off, you're sadly mistaken because you thought being pretty was so much better than being educated or listening to your mom, right? Yes, this is what happens when you don't listen to your mom. Wow. The crazy thing is today. Wow. Before she even say what she got to say, like, this is honestly probably the most disrespectful stuff I have ever seen. Like, you just put your, you just embarrass your daughter in front of millions of people. And I'm positive that millions of, I hope millions of people see this because I want you to get a taste of your own medicine to let you know posting things. I'm not even going to say posting things on social media, but the amount of discipline that she just did, like, it'd be different if that wasn't her real hair. You just cut your daughter's real hair. And I'm just saying, I know this uh, uh, CPS go get involved. I know it is. Child Protective Services definitely go get involved with this. I'm positive we go to her TikTok right now that she has to delete it. 100% positive. Because she's afraid. Once the school get involved and all these other people get involved, you go lose your kid for some stuff like that. Like, it's, a, it's levels of discipline. But cutting hair? Like, I honestly, like... Bro, like, she needs her haircut. I think she needs to feel how I feel. But I'm positive she gonna meet the wrong person. This woman is gonna get in front of the wrong person who remember her face. Like, and they're gonna give her a taste of her own medicine. People is crazy out here in this world. You know what I'm saying? I had to do something that, like, I really didn't want to do, but I had to do to teach my child a lesson. Nah. We try to be better than our parents, and I try really hard to be the best mother that I can be. And for the most part, I know I'm doing a fantastic the wig on, like. It's so pretty. Fantastic. Fantastic. You're on TikTok. You got edits on this. This not even a lie. I haven't seen, like, I ain't gonna lie. She made, like, a total different, like, she made it look totally different from the other parents. Like, the other parents be going live. I'm almost finna accept the live stream than the edited video. She's editing this stuff. She's editing it, bro. Literally editing everything. Stop looking at me, bro. You learned your lesson. Like the lesson was learned, no? Yeah. And I warned you before I even put it on TikTok that if you continued with this behavior because you like the app so much, that I'm gonna cut your hair off, record it, and post it. I yeah. told you this from three months ago, and I've been telling you every week, right? Yeah. So this didn't come as a real shock to you. You were just shocked that I actually finally did it, right? Yeah. You're not hurt. You're not. I'm not hurt. hurt. Like, <laughs> so now she's trying to defend herself. Now she's trying to defend herself. Yeah, y'all listening? She she feel the heat. So this is a separate video. It's not even an edited video, but she feel the heat. Like she probably didn't tell her, she probably didn't apologize to her daughter so many times. You know what I'm saying? And now she like, look, like you're not mad, right? You're, you're, you're not mad. Like this definitely worse than them, man. What? What the hell's wrong with these people? Like you guys, this is my baby. This is me. Man, get off of me, me cuz. Right I would have pulled a soldier boys. Man, get off of me, cuz. I would have pulled a whole soldier boy. How he did, I definitely would have pulled one of them. I'm not even lying. So yes, she had to learn a hard lesson today because being pretty is not shit. I didn't do this to embarrass my daughter. If yes, I you did. To embarrass my daughter. I will tell you guys what she actually did. You did. You said that. But I'm not going to do that because I'm not here to embarrass my daughter. She is my kid, and that is. So you decides to cut her hair on TikTok, and you steady uploading videos about it. Man, get out of here, dog between me and my kid. I see some weird comments like, oh, she's jealous of her kid. How the hell can you be jealous of someone who's your twin? She's literally identical to me. Eyebrows, ears, nose, mouth, teeth. Who's literally my identical twin. She takes her time to edit, it's crazy. After exhausting so many different types of discipline, writing lines, grounding, taking away, doing all of that, it doesn't matter. When I ask her not to go on the apps, she makes a new one and continues her badness and does what she wants to do. I'm not going to sit here and explain to you guys what really happened because <clears throat> I'm not here to embarrass my daughter. I'm here to teach my daughter. I 
Now you're not trying to embarrass your daughter after you just cut her hair on TikTok, then delete it. We're going to go to her TikTok after this and see if she deleted it. I'm telling you, all 100% she deleted the video. I told her if she continued, I was going to do that, record it, and post it. I've been telling her I'm going to do it. Out of everything you could have did, you could have told her I'm coming up to your school and whooped you. I bet you she would have stopped. I never stood on my word for a whole year, so now I'm standing on my word after exhausting everything else because I refuse to let these apps run my kid. I refuse for my kid not to have an education. No skipping class. I don't care what you're doing. You're skipping class to do what? There's so many other things. And I'm not going to sit here and talk about it on TikTok because I don't owe you guys an explanation. Those who know. Yeah, you explain because you feel the heat and it's going to come to you because I'm knowing that my supporters right now are going to bring you some heat. And this video finna go crazy. I see the TikTok. I don't got to say nothing. You know what I'm saying? I understand her frustration as a parent. I don't want y'all to get it wrong and I don't want her to get it wrong if she see this. I see her frustration as a parent, but you have to just admit when you're wrong. As a parent, that's one thing parents don't like to do is admit when they are wrong. Know me in person, know that that took me a lot to do. And, cl and clearly you can tell in the video, it took a lot for me to I already saw that. Hold on. Let, let, let's see. Let's see. Because I know she deleted the video like I told y'all. Yep. She deleted the video because it starts right here. She deleted the video. I know she did. Because you already know what was going. You already know what was. She felt the heat, bro. You felt the heat. So let's go ahead and watch this. So cool. Do you hate me? No. The child, that child hates you. When she goes, when she, when she goes, no contact that 18 is going to be your fault. One time takes the filter off. You're a failure. I'm not even finna lie. Look, she turned off her comments. So she already knows. She already feeling the heat. If you feel like you're so right, then why are you constantly turning off your comments? Keep the comments on. Let the people actually tell you. All you have to do is apologize. That's all you have to do. Make a public apology. And I promise you, everybody would apologize to you. And actually, some people still want to be mean, but at least you took the initiative as an adult to be an adult about a situation to admit when you were over well, when you were wrong. I'm not saying that you didn't have to get mad about whatever she did, because trust me, my it's, it's a lot of situations where kids do do things like social media wise that, that it's like it's, a, it's the final straw. Like you don't have no idea. You know what I'm saying? But I hate when parents be in these situations because I do a lot of reactions in situations like this. I do a lot of reactions in situations like this where um where people at parents know that they're blatantly wrong and it was one parent that apologized. Out of all the reactions I did, I go look at my, it was one parent that apologized and was like, you know what, baby, I'm sorry. I should have never went on social media. I should have never posted that stuff because I didn't know what type of situation or how much this affected you. I didn't know how powerful social media was until today. I'm sorry, baby. I love you. And I admit when I was wrong and I'm ready to make it up. She said this is a parent. She, but, but she said, I'm not wrong for discipline my kid. And everybody agreed. We like, we, we know you're not wrong for discipline your kid, but you're wrong for what you had did. A hundred percent. You're wrong for that. And all you have to do is own up to it. There ain't nothing wrong with owning up to your wrongs. That's what people got to understand. Let's see what she's talking about. <laughs> what? What? Is her kid, talking? her. <laughs> Say that you hate me. <laughs> that you're traumatized. Fake laughing. <laughs> Yo, you guys don't know the bond me and this kid have, eh? You guys don't know. So understand that my kid knows I love her. I did it out of love. I stood on my word as a parent. Cool no. girl, cool girl. <laughs> when your mom's a personal hairstylist, her hair will be fixed up in a matter of time. Man, nobody, <laughs> nobody want to hear that. I ain't gonna lie. I don't want to hear that, G. Let's see what she's talking about next. I think we've seen it, but not all of it. They think, they think you're some type of like victim or something. Like they don't understand I'm that not. it's really this easy to put a wig on. Like it's so funny. you learned your lesson. Like the lesson was learned, no? Yeah. And I warned you before I even put it on TikTok that man, when this kid turn eighteen, she go fly. Like, and I will, I will move to dang Dubai, uh, dang Egypt, far away. If you continued with this behavior because you like the app so much. 
that I'm going to cut your hair off, record it, and post it. I yeah. told you this from three months ago, and I've been telling you every week, right? Yeah. So this didn't come as a real shock to you. You were just shocked that I actually finally did it. Right? Why is you? I, I noticed something. I noticed that every time she put her in the camera, she speak for her kid. Let your kid speak. Let your kid, let your kid have her TikTok. Let her have her TikTok and see what I, I promise you. I wish I can find her TikTok. If y'all know her TikTok, I want to know what she said. You're speaking what your kid is saying, right? She's scared of you. You didn't just cut off her whole head. You just gave her a, 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 a ball fade. You just gave her a, a, a ball fade. Of course, she finna sit here and say, yes, I would have been in that mug. Yep, yep, yep. You, you say whatever. Yep, I'm finna do it. Yep, you crazy. Not hurt. Like, <laughs> what the hell's wrong with these people? Like, you guys, this is my baby. This is me. This is me right here. So mm. yes, she had to learn a hard lesson today because being pretty is not shit. Education comes first. Because you can be pretty all you want in life. Nobody is gonna sit here and and love you just because you're pretty and want to be with you just because you're pretty. No, you need the education. Being pretty is not going to get you nowhere in the job field. I want her to graduate college. I want her to become something and be something. I own my own business, and this kid is going to have to be able to take part of that business. You can't do that with no education. So what I'm doing to, for, to and for my child is definitely for her better, and it is installing strength into my child. My child is mm. not a victim. She doesn't have a victim mentality. Mm. She's not a suicidal child, so y'all need to noise it with that shit. My kid is good. Are you not spoiled? Is that not part of the big problem? Because yeah. I spoil you so much. I had to take away shoes, clothes, everything. No, grommets are going to be real from now on. This is some real shit. I love you, kid. Nah. Yeah, I bet you do now. She feel that pressure, y'all. This last one. I just double did that one for some reason. My posts are commending me on being such a great parent. Then why is you turning off the comments? How is people commending you for being a great parent and you turn off the comments? It don't make sense. And you have these one, two weirdos, like these females who have only fans, who are out here being TikTok hoes, who are out here doing it for the gram, that are here posting or commenting on my post. Like they had some type of thing. Honey, you sell your chocha. You could never give me advice as a parent. I'm raising a girl child. Yes, I did what I did out of so much love for my kid, and it broke my heart to even do it. But if you think I'm going to be taking advice from a stripper, a prostitute, an OnlyFans showgirl, or an Instagram or TikTok tarantula, you're sadly mistaken. Yeah, I use filters to cover my eyes because I'm very spiritual. Of the other aspect, I don't need a filter. I'm beautiful in person. Clearly see, I didn't even do my hair to come on this bitch. I didn't even give a fuck because to me, being pretty isn't shit. I'm highly educated and a hard working mother. Like my kids are spoiled beyond being spoiled. More spoiled than me. So at the end of the day, if you're an escort, if you're a stripper, sorry, no, if you're a prostitute, if you're a stripper, an OnlyFans girl, or a TikTok and Instagram doing it for a show, you could never give me advice on parenting because your parents already screwed up a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Now, that's probably the only thing I, I probably agree with her with, and I still don't agree with her, just letting y'all know that. But anyways, like I said, in this entire situation, I feel like that she could have did so much better. Um, I'm not going to knock off the fact that she's a frustrated parent, that her kid did something that constantly was doing something, that was repetitive and she felt like that she didn't have no other option but to go this route i understand but i don't agree you know what i'm saying and, and y'all really heard my input and i know everything that she's talking about most people's giving me positive comments while y'all talking and why are you turning off the comments why did you delete the video you're feeling the heat you probably going to stop responding now you're noticing that you're probably getting the money a little, little hundred dollars from the TikTok or whatever but you just realize the power of social media like if they find out you're a hairstylist that have a business, they're going to start going to your business and showing out. You will lose a lot of business from that. You're not finna gain. Tag, if you feel like you're so right, tag your business and tell people to come shop. Tell people to come to the shop. Tell people what your business really is and do things like that. And then you will see if people really agree with you. A lot of people agree with you on a standpoint of disciplinary. 
They agree, yes, you're supposed to discipline your kid. That was right. Do what you need to do to discipline your kid, but they don't agree with the way you went about disciplinary your kid as far as posting it. That's what they don't agree with. I agree with you, discipline your kid. I don't feel like I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, you don't need to do nothing to her. She's just a girl. No, I know it could be frustrating. I'm not even a parent, so I can't really say too much as far as like how 100% how you need to go about a situation. You know what I'm saying? But I do, and I feel like it's just an individual that anybody can see with a naked eye that you're not supposed to post things like this on social media because it can go bad. That's my point. I'm a professional with the social media stuff and I know how powerful it is. And I can promise you that if you wouldn't have went to social media like this, you would have got the same respect. If you went to her school and did this stuff in front of her school while she had a basketball game, you would have the same respect. But I'm so serious. Posting on social media can go a long way. Like this can hunt this kid. This can hunt your kid for the rest of her life. She can grow up and really tell you how she really feel. And you wouldn't have to speak for her and ask her to say, right, right. She will be able to speak for herself, but I promise you that she feels a total different way and is going to follow her for the rest of her life, no matter how strong she looks. Parents don't always know 100% of what their kid going through. That's why suicide rates and a lot. I can't say that. That's why the rates of kids harming themselves are very high, way higher than it used to be, because kids and parents are not connected like they was nowadays. Make sure that y'all enjoy this video, man, that you smash the like button, comment, and also subscribe for your boy or man. Remember, the more likes this video get, the higher that it will rank. I promise you. Let's get this video number one. And also, man, make sure that y'all show some love as well on the Sweet Life of KB, man. Just started the channel. Uh, it's going to be three links. It's going to be down in the description. It's going to be pinned in the comments. And it's also going to be on the screen right now. So make sure y'all go and show some love, man. Let's get it. Let's go.